Uh, just a quick introduction before the introduction. Um, we're using the hot sauce that we made last week, the Scotch Bonnet and Mango sauce. I'll leave a link for that downstairs for you, or I'll try and put it in a box around here. Um, also, there's a few costume changes. So I'm basically like Lady Gaga. And I'll put the ingredient list up for you in a sec, so you can just pause it, or I'll put it downstairs as well. Anyway, enjoy. Like and subscribe. Yes, yes, welcome back or welcome to Absolute Dins. My name is Billy Cunningham. Uh, today we're going to be making some chicken wings. We're going to be tossing them in tossing them in a mango and scotch bonnet hot sauce, serving them with a little cooling ranch dip as well. Um, and they're going to be good, I hope. Anyway, First things first, we need to chop up the wings. Okay, over there, chicken wing. Now chicken wing is split up into three parts. You've got the drumette, the flat, and the wing tip. Now the wing tip, we won't actually be using in this recipe, but a lot of people do throw this away. What I tend to do is to cut off the wing tip put it in a freezer bag, whack it in the freezer, and when it comes to making a chicken stock, you can just use that in your chicken stock. Frugal, I get it. So first and foremost, just cut off that. Boom, that can be stored elsewhere. And then take the wing itself, little slit down the middle, you can break it slightly, and then you have your wing in two parts, drum it, Flat. I'm going to rattle through the rest of these, so we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Really important step now, after your wings are separated, is to pat them dry with a bit of kitchen roll. Let's get them as dry as you can. Pat, 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 pat. When your wings are dry, you can transfer them to a wire rack and then place in the fridge for a few hours, ideally overnight, but tonight we don't have enough time. So for a few hours to dry out even more before you put the coating on. On a wire rack that is lined with tin foil, place your wings on there, a little bit apart. And now you can let these dry in the fridge for a few hours. Yes, right, so um, what we're gonna do now is make the coating for the wings. Um, so we have a measly amount of cumin because I ran out, but uh, use a teaspoon and a half maybe. Next we have chili powder, smoked paprika, garlic powder, celery salt, we have white pepper. And the next is the secret ingredient, which is baking powder. Now, baking powder, um, it goes in this for scientific reasons, and um, I'll let you know what that is in a minute. Brilliant. I'm no food scientist, but luckily I have access to the UK's leading food scientist. Baking powder is alkaline, so it raises the pH level of the skin, breaking down the peptide bonds and jump-starting the browning process. No more questions at this time. Thank you for your time, Greg. Now back to cooking. Tiny whisk. Mix that all up. That is now done. Ready to go on some wings. We're going to quickly make a ranch dressing bowl. This is simple enough. Sour cream, mayo, a little dollop of milk, squeeze of a jubilee. Um, I don't have um, any chives, but I do have dill dough. <laughs> Bit of tarragon, garlic powder. 
and then whisk. And that is our ranch made. Put that in the fridge and let the flavors shag. Now you want to spread over your mix, spices and all that gear. Give it a little toss. You want to make sure all these wings are coated with all that goodness. Now with your wings fully coated, you just want to whack them back onto your sheet pan or your baking tray. Skin side up. Preheat an oven to about 210 degrees. And then it's time to bake them. And there you have all the wings ready to go into the oven. Hands very orange. Um, yeah, whack it in the oven and then flip it in 20 minutes and then we'll see how we get on. See you then. So uh, my microphone actually didn't pick this up so I'm having to do a voiceover, so this is cool. Um, anyway, it's been about 20 mins on the, um, on the wings in the oven. So we're gonna take them out and then we're gonna give them a little flip up. Uh, once you give them a quick 180, uh, it's probably time to whack them back in for another 20 minutes. So, voiceover done. Okay, cool. Right, now time to make the sauce. Fry them, just a little one, on the heat. And then take your sauce, which is pre-made, obviously. Pour that in there. Just a dash of water. Two. of honey a little bit more chili powder because I'm a naughty kid and whisk that away once that's all incorporated just let that blip away for 10 minutes until it reduces slightly and then you're almost ready to go one eternity later See now the sauce has tightened up. And that's what we want. To take it off the heat. That's done its job. Give them another flip. Wings are now done, they're out of the oven. Now it's time to give them a little test to see how crispy they are. As you can see. Lovely done. Let's bring it close to the mic. Ooh. Ooh. Time to get them over there and whack the sauce on. See you in a sec. Big bowl. Crispy witness. Mango and scotch body sauce. Let's play on some slate and make it look sexy, mate. There we are. Time to do a little taste test. some of the ranch as well. Yeah, I pretty much lost the ability to use words at the end of that, but that's it, that's that's episode two done. Uh, the wings were actually banging, probably one of the best wings I've ever made. The uh, baking powder really does work. So yeah, that is the end of the episode. There'll be another episode at half five next Friday. I'm not going to let you know what it is yet. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in to Absolute Dins. Um, thank you for Greg 
um, for his hard work in, in the uh, scientific side of things today. Ash a lot, get out of it. Fucking bright. Ah.